This is Poyo's 38 kill win in finals. Now, I think Poyo is the most underrated player in the world, for sure. People are talking about Poyo because, again, 38 kill wins is ridiculous. But I think they're mostly talking about in relation with Peterbot. He's, he's got three elims and, again, not a major POI. So I think I just have to give up on the fact that I think that these games are going to be dropped from major POIs. They're pretty much always just going to be random ass areas and then they rotate to POIs. He slides a lot in his movement. Now, this is just the full highlights. So this is just going to be like really quick. 38 kills in 10 minutes. This is going to be very fast paced to break down exactly what's going on here. He slides a lot. So it's interesting that both him and Peterbot are both on like 30 ping. He's on like high 20 ping as well. So him and Peterbot are both not zero ping. So between them, in case you haven't realized, between Peterbot and Poyo, they've dropped a 39, 38, 36, 36, and 35 kill wins between the two of them in the last two weeks. And they're a duo, by the way. And they won the first duo cash cup finals while contested by cheaters, like actual hackers. So they can do this in set lobbies too. Like, they obviously don't key this hard in set lobbies, but they've shown they know how to play set lobbies too. Everyone keeps forgetting that Peterbot actually IGL'd him and Byler to an FNCS win. Like, Peterbot does know how to IGL. And they're a confirmed duo for FNCS. So we already got eight kills. Okay, so this video is cutting out a lot of the kills. We're already on eight kills. Oh, okay. We're seeing a bit more of a build fight. Okay, the players so far aren't looking too crazy. I will admit... Peterbot's 36 kill game, if he got a better lobby, would have definitely been a 40. He was actually versing some demons. Let's see. I wonder if we versed any solid players. Because so far, these the kills we've seen, these players have been extremely average. Oh, this guy's boxed up on ulti low. This, guy, this is going to make it awkward. I think he's a bit more careful now because this is such an awkward spot to drop down on. You'll just get stuck in all their builds. This is the best fight anyone's put up so far because they're just playing defensive. And he's ran straight at him. Okay. That was Tita Rooney? Wait. I swear I've heard of Tita Rooney. That's got to be a fake. Wow. All right. Burst SMG with the no bloom. Laser mag attachment, which I've told you guys about plenty of time. Putting in work. He's not super fancy at all. Like, he really isn't crazy fancy. I remember when Booga was going to play with Poyo and everyone was so shocked. And now Poyo is just, like, going absolutely insane a couple seasons later. It's just very effective playstyle. He's not being flashy at all. He's just doing what he needs to get the kill. Man, he's really, really not flashy. He slides so much. I've never seen a player slide this much. Yeah, he doesn't have good ping. He couldn't take that either times. He couldn't turn the stair into a cone or his stair. So he had to jump up and phase on top of it. So you can tell he's used to playing on decently high ping as well. Like he is not just taking walls. This would be a great player to watch. If you're if you're a high oh, if you're a higher ping player and you want to know how to still drop good kills. Because so far the only walls he's really taken is when the player stops holding it, like then. This is not how I thought this 38 kill game was going to go. This has just been really, really solid, but nothing flashy at all. 30 ping's not high, but it's not hard zero. Like, you can't just take every wall. You still have to be smart and push the player around a bit, you know? He's not reliant. Like, the only builds he's taken in this entire game so far is when the other player's not holding them. He hasn't had to take a single wall someone's holding yet. Okay, so now we're versing some more decent players. Okay, so we're 13 kills in with 37 alive. So we take down 25 of the next 36 players. So we must go insane on rotating zones. Man, this is... I can't help but keep saying it. It's just so clean, but it's really not fancy at all. Like, if you watched a couple of these fights, no one would be like, yeah, this guy's going to go on to drop an almost 40 bomb, you know? You watch Polarized and even Peterbot, and it just, you know they're moving at the speed of light. It's like, damn, this kid's actually crazy. But this is just so effective. He reads them so well. Even now, he hasn't tried to take a single wall. Yeah, I'd say this playstyle is definitely more similar to Cole's playstyle. There it is. There it is. It's the momentum phasing. I keep talking about it. The one skill all these guys have down so well is the momentum. See, he can't even take a wall. 
There we go. Finally takes a wall. The, mom the momentum phasing is so important if you want to be a good W keyer. Being able to get in someone's box while they're holding the wall without any builds. Just run up. Perfect timing. Straight in. Nice. 16 elims. Okay, now we're starting to speed it up a little bit. We're starting to get a little bit faster with it. But even then, still, this is nothing... This is nothing that most pro players can't do as far as the mechanics go. Really good aim, though. Really, really good aim. His aim has been next level, and he tracks the player super well and predicts them. But then again, if you never put your gun away, like if you're not trying to be overly fancy and your gun's always out, he just keeps baiting them to edit onto him and then he always gets the shot through. Because the easiest way to take down someone like Peterbot or Polarize is when they're trying to be a bit too fancy with edits and builds and you just sit on a right hand with your gun out or right up against the wall. Damn. This, uh, this would have to be the least amount of builds placed ever for a 38 kill win. Like, I swear I've seen him place like 50 builds this entire game. Damn. It's working though. All right, rotating zones. This is where Peterbot keeps losing out on the majority of his kills. He drops 18 of the next 27 kills. This is definitely gonna be the most amount of kills we've ever watched on a rotating zone. Because all of Peterbot's games and Cold's games where they're close to dropping 40 bombs and Reet from yesterday. There's usually an entire rotating zone or two where they just don't get almost any kills. And that's what keeps ruining their 40 bombs. But man, Poyo is not having that issue. My man. My man's getting a lot of kills. Oh, did he just get slide kicked? I think he just got slide kicked by accident. That guy just lucked out so hard. There's no way he meant to slide kick him off the builds. Ooh, nice. All right, 24 kills, 24 up. I mean, this is not how I expected this game to look. There's no skill-based matchmaking in the Solo Victory Cup unless you get a win, obviously. I don't know, because how else would you, like, make the lobby harder? This lobby does, like, the players in this lobby have looked pretty not great, I'm not going to lie. I think it's still Poyo being fast enough and just really solid aim to make them look worse than they are. But these players really aren't putting up a good fight. I'm not going to lie. In Peterbot's 36 kill win, the players are putting up solid fights. Yeah, this is... Uh, this NA is not looking too great. NA is not looking too great in this lobby. Oh my god. Dude, he's just destroying everyone in two seconds flat. Man, I, I knew he was going to get a lot of kills on Rotating Zone, but I did not think he was going to get them this quickly. Oh, here comes the hype builds. Okay. All right. The most mechanics we've seen out of Poyo the entire game. And it's for his 30th kill. You can't, you can't say he got lucky with the lobby, though, because he's done it twice. He's gotten a 35 and now a 38 kill win. So, like, it can't just be that he's only getting lucky lobbies. You know what I mean? Maybe you get like a 20 bomb in a lucky lobby if you're not too great. But to drop two mid to high 30 kill games on separate days? I don't know. I think he's just reading them really, really well and he doesn't do too much. He just keeps his gun out, gets close and hits every shot. Wonder why he put the ramps out there. I guess to stop that guy from ramping straight out or tarping straight out. Okay. We finally got hit. We are healing for the first time. You gotta remember, this video is also cut down to only be the highlights. So anytime he probably got hit hard, they probably cut it out. But yeah, comparing this to Peterbot's 36 kill game, the lobby is looking very different. Oh, toe shot. Beautiful aim though. Really good aim. Alright, so we get five of the remaining ten. So this could have been a 40 bomb. Actually, this very well could have been a 40 bomb. Obviously, only two kills the difference, but even at this point... Ah, oh, there it is. Now it's gone. Damn. 
like, yeah, it's... Yeah, I don't want to take this away from Poyo because I want to try and sell Poyo as the most underrated player right now. And I swear he is. And I mean, he's taking advantage of the bad lobby. But yeah, this lobby is not good looks for NA. We're just... We're kind of running into the bullets is the only way to describe it. <laughs> Are we going to build? We're not going to build? Okay. Not the best looks for NA. Compare that to Peterbot's 36 kill win. I know I keep saying that. And yeah, the lobby looks quite different. 